COVID has changed just about everything, but that doesn't mean it's stopping people from having their events. And of course, we want to talk about making strides against breast cancer. I want to bring in Ms. Amy Giuliano. Hi, Amy. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you for being with us. So you're from the American Cancer Society and you know, every year you guys do this big event and obviously it has to be different, but let's talk about it and what the event is. Yeah, of course. So the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event is a powerful event to raise awareness and funds to save lives from breast cancer. It's a bittersweet mix of purpose, celebrating our survivorship, paying meaningful tributes to loved ones lost, and uniting to fight for a world without breast cancer. So, Typically, how many people come to this event, Amy? Um, about five or 6,000 every year. Wow. Okay, so if we've got five or 6,000 that usually attend in person, there's no reason we couldn't get like 10,000 people, right? Because we're going to do it right. virtual this year. So how are we going to do it? Yeah, so obviously this year is going to be a little different. We're not going to have just one day of events. We're going to do an entire week. So over okay. the week of October 17th through the 24th, we're going to have a bunch of different ways for people to stride your way, which is what we're calling it. Um, so we're providing routes across the Wasatch Front from Provo up to Ogden. We're going to have um, trails, park routes that they can participate in. And we're asking people to don their best pink outfits and post to social media as they do their walks so we can be there with them in spirit. And in addition to that, we're also going to host a scavenger hunt in our downtown area so that people can be involved and have fun that way as well. And then lastly, we are doing a very special survivor event at our Hope Lodge on our would-be walk day, October 24th. And that's going to be a drive through experience so that we're making sure we're socially distanced and safe. I love it. We never thought we'd be doing drive through experiences, but here we are and they're working and it's, it's impactful to see, you know, how people are coming together this year, especially. Now, as far as ages go, who can participate in this? Yeah, this, you know, we are not discriminating against age. Anyone can participate um, from little ones up to anyone who wants to. So it's going to be a great event. I love it. So if people want to register, how do they do so? Yeah, you can head to our website, makingstridesinutah.org, and you can join a team, you can create your own team, or you can donate individually as well. Now, of course, Amy, I'm sure you do this frequently, but you're constantly talking to people about getting those screenings and getting them early. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we at the American Cancer Society, we're working to save lives from breast cancer. And here in Utah, this year alone, about 1,800 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer, and about 300 of those women will perish. So, yeah. So we are encouraging that women begin their breast cancer screenings at the age of 40 and start their annual screenings starting at 45. Perfect. Well, Amy, thank you so much. We appreciate this and excited for the event. We'll see you later. Thank you.